The world does not reward average people. The world only rewards confident people. If you are a leader and if you really want to create unbreakable confidence, you must abide by the seven laws of unbreakable confidence. Tip number one is remember, confidence comes from purpose. Purpose. I often tell people that a man without a mission is not a man. It's a boy. A woman without a mission is not a woman. It's a girl. So you need to have the right purpose in your life. I'm not talking about the purpose that you tell other people about, but the real purpose that you have, the reason that you're born for, the reason that you're moving toward, whether you are a leader for your family, a leader for a company, and you run an organization. What's your purpose? What is your why that actually gives you that juice every single morning when you wake up? That's tip number one. Tip number two, remember, confidence comes from evidence. That's right. Confidence comes from evidence. Anytime you feel low on confidence, you have to close your eyes and maybe journal a bit about your previous success because your previous success will give you the confidence because that evidence is going to prove to you that it was possible for you and it is possible for you again. Maybe sometimes you have uh, a lot of great confidence when you're speaking to your subordinates, you're speaking to your boss, but when you're speaking to a larger audience, online or offline does not matter, or maybe you're speaking to some big shot people, maybe sometimes you feel nervous. Understand that that is the time you have to think about your previous success from different areas of your life, and that is actually gonna give you the confidence to move forward. Number three, remember, confidence comes from completion. I often tell people, anybody can actually take an initiative but very few people do a finitiative. <laughs> Don't just take initiative, be a finitiator. Finish the things that you started. In my coaching program, in different programs that I have, I often hear from people that they tell me these leaders, these CEOs, vice presidents, C-level executive people, entrepreneurs, teachers, speakers, high-level people, they tell me, Vishala, one, one problem that I often face is, you know, I'm good at starting a new habit, a new ritual, a new process, but sometimes I feel I'm not consistent enough to really carry forward. And maybe it has happened to you. I don't know about you, but maybe you have started doing something. Maybe you started practicing public speaking. Maybe you started waking up early. Maybe you started, you know, reading a book. Maybe you started a new habit of hanging out with the right elite level leaders, but then you fall off. It's almost like ice cream. You know, you take it out from the fridge. It's it's ice. But if you keep it in the in the sun for a long time, what's going to happen is it's it's going to melt and it will become water, colorful water very, very soon. You don't want to be a colorful water. You want to be ice because ice cream has the value. And for that, you have to stay in the refrigerator. So remember to finish the things that you started. Anything that you start today, finish it. Tip number four is confidence comes from I will figure it out attitude. Look, you are a high profile leader. You are a, high, you're a highly qualified professional. You are not going to know everything in the world when you start something, right? I remember when I started out in different projects, many times I did not have all the information ready because most people just wait for the perfect time. There is no perfect time. So I always have this I'll figure it out attitude. And that's how I went from middle class to being a multi-millionaire and not just me, all the people that I coach and mentor, I've taken one client who was making 25 lakhs rupees a year when he came to me. Right now he's making 2.7 crore rupees a month as an entrepreneur because we actually worked on his mindset, worked on his speaking skills, his networking, his connection, his body language, but more importantly, he started to finish the things. Remember, and, and he always has this I'll figure it out attitude. Tip number five is remember, confidence comes from repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. You did not learn how to cycle just by taking this bicycle out just for one ride. No, you did it over and over again, over and over again. After delivering over 7,000 presentations, there is no problem that can knock me out. And that is the attitude that I want you to take. I want you to take the attitude of Rahul Dravid, like the wall attitude that no matter what happens, you are going to stay there and you're going to repeat the process, repeat the process. See, average speaker will practice until they get something right. But a world-class speaker will practice until they cannot get it wrong. That is the difference. Tip number six is remember, confidence comes from service-based mindset. You need to have the right mindset to serve people. If you go on to an auditorium, if you go on to the boardroom, if you go on to 
the stakeholders or clients or leaders or you're doing a, a virtual presentations and if your mindset is I will show them that I'm the real deal I'll show them that I'm the best person in the room I'm very sorry to reveal to you that you are actually gonna lose the presentation you might win a short-term respect but that's not gonna connect with people you don't want to show people you want to serve people so whether you're giving virtual presentation face to face you are a leader you are speaking to your your leader your clients your stakeholders or you're closing million dollar deals as a senior leader understand that come from a service mindset because it's hard to be nervous when your heart is on service and tip number seven is remember confidence comes from the right self-talk that's right the soundtrack inside your head not talking about any song but the self silent talk that is going on all the time right on average a man has about 95000 thoughts per day <laughs> a woman has 1.5 lakh rupees thoughts a day in the head right every single day and most of that is negative if you really want to be a confident speaker you need the right you know self talk to make sure that you are giving yourself the confidence the boost the development to make sure that you protect your mind safeguard your confidence so not only you survive as a leader but you thrive as a leader and as a result of doing all this your income is gonna go your to a higher level your influence is gonna grow to a higher level and as a result you are gonna make a difference you are gonna be an impactful leader no matter what you do and look the thing is I'd love to show you the entire process and that's why people like Rajesh who went from stage fear to being a phenomenal leader <clears throat> that's why people have Dr. Shiv who came to me the work with a lot of confidence issues but now he addresses thousands of people as a as a result of actually learning the process you know people like Anish who did not know how to communicate but now he's actually moving forward in his career in Cisco that's why people like Raj Lakshmi who did not know how to use the body language to influence people to now she is actually meeting the top level big shots people in her career and actually making three times more money as a leader and that's the reason I want to make the same opportunity available to you if you want me to personally mentor you so that you no more have to face stage fear so that you no more have to face average confidence so that you no more have to have average level of executive presence and instead if you really want to have the confidence the body language the persuasion the brevity to make sure that any room you enter people say are wah this is a world-class speaker if you want to speak in such a manner that people say my goodness this is the best speaker best leader that I have ever seen if you want to speak in such a manner that you become everybody's favorite leader and if you want to do that without any theory without any fluff without any quote-unquote you know theoretical techniques if you really want me to practically show you call this number that you see on the screen and tell one of my team members that I want Bishal Sarkar to mentor me what is the process I'm committed look it is is not for everybody only if you're a leader and you want to be a power player leader with confidence brevity power to create unshakable difference every single time because your life is gonna end one day maybe 10 years from maybe 20 years from now maybe 30 years from now the question is not whether you will die the question is how you're gonna live the rest of your life right now so if you really take the right action right now and if you have the right mentor you can be a powerful leader and I'm telling you right now this is the time for you to so step up take the call make the call and enroll today and we're gonna change your life remember public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection take care